Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayawa and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this is the Zazzle Tutorial Series Part 4. As I mentioned in the past few videos, Zazzle is a pretty massive print-on-demand marketplace. Therefore, I really didn't see an option to make like one video Zazzle tutorial because there are so many things you can do on that platform. Hence, the Zazzle tutorial series with parts one, two, and three already behind us. Having talked about why would you want to sell on Zazzle? Like what is their best features with part one? Part two covering other platforms and how to get statistics on what people are searching for or maybe how much traffic does Zazzle have? What should be my focus when designing products? Where we learn that a lot of people are really into invites and stuff like that. Part three of the Zazzle tutorial series talking about how to set up a shop on Zazzle and how to upload products. And now arriving at part four, which is how to set up those customizable products. And this is one of the tutorials that I think that I've been mostly looking forward to when it comes to the Zazzle series, that we have a lot more tutorials ahead of us for the Zazzle series, including a small mountain of products here in my apartment to share with you guys. But I do want to make sure that you understand just how valuable it is that Zazzle has this option for customization right on their platform. Now, the concept of print-on-demand customization has been a huge trend, especially on Etsy. And it does take out a little bit of that passive thing that we have going with print-on-demand. I mean, if I'm running a store, let's say with Shopify or with Etsy or Redbubble or TeePublic, the one thing that I do have in common for all of those is that if someone is ordering something literally while I'm sleeping, that something is going to be made. It's a system that pushes that product and that design into production and I don't have to do anything. But with custom print on demand items, you do have to be a bit more involved. For example, one of the biggest suppliers that is able to do something like that in the easiest form is Printful. Because when you upload a design onto Printful, you can set it up and literally tell the system, this is a customizable item, which means that if someone were to go to my Etsy store or a Shopify store and order a mug with their name on it, that order will be made in a way on Printful with all the data of the buyer, but it will not push the product into production. Instead, I will be waiting for that buyer to send me their name or what they want written on a mug. I can send them a proof of how it's going to look and then replace the file within their order on Printful and send them the correct one with their customization. But with Zazzle, I can do that without actually needing to do that. And that's what today's tutorial is all about, how to create those customizable items on Zazzle. Now, what I want to do with you guys in today's tutorial, and it's going to be a rather quick one, because even though this sounds like a very tricky and complex procedure, it's actually really simple. I want to take you guys to Etsy and show you some of these products, as well as take you to Zazzle, not logged in as me, logged off with a different browser to show you how two products that I made this morning look like to someone else in terms of customization. And then I'm going to design with you guys three different customized products, customizing text on different products, as well as customizing a photo on a product. I'm not going to tell you what those products are. Let's keep it as a surprise. I do want to tell you that with every product you're going to design, this process is going to be very similar. And another thing I want to tell you guys is that because Zazzle has, you know, 1,500 plus products, I can't really make tutorials on all of them. So if there are products on Zazzle that you want me to make a full tutorial on, maybe, I don't know, check out my creativity on these or maybe even order them and check them out for you, please let me know in the comments section down below. But you know what? Enough chit chat. It's time to make myself smaller so I can start sharing my screen with you guys. And we are starting with the first Etsy store here, which is called Invitation Elegant. And what you can see here is that we have this like really nice invitation with gold foil. And if you want to order it, you have to write down your email here. Once you make the order, the seller is going to email you a customization form. You have to fill it out and then send it back to them so that they can create this invitation with your details. Again, as we said, very active with this print on demand. We also have here this cool thing, Sophia. We have this relaxing watercolor element 
and a name. You can choose from mug size if you want 11 ounce white or black, if you want 15 ounce white or black. It does look like a rather sweet mug that can be made in different sizes. I do like the idea of it. It's rather adorable. And then again, all you have to do as a buyer is put your name here when you order. And then the seller is going to switch the files in the system before sending you this product. Let's check out some notebooks by KN New Designs. Personalized notebook. We have custom notebook, custom journal. We basically have here several options. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, up until 12. I would have seriously made like 12 listings from this and not one, but okay. And you need to choose what color you want for the notebook as well as enter the name you want in the middle. And then once you order, the seller is going to make that design for you and push it to production. Another thing we have here is a family puzzle. And if you recognize this box, well, you should, because it's a Printify puzzle box. It was literally featured here on this channel. I think it was featured with Armela. She was a community manager here in this co-living and I miss her so much. Armela, if you're ever watching this, love you, girl. And what you have here is a photo puzzle that can be customized for your family and you select a size here and of course the piece amount that you want and it's actually not really clear how you're supposed to customize something like this i mean they say if you want to see a layout before you purchase don't hesitate to reach out they don't really tell you how to send them any customization for this product and the last product for today from etsy would be sweet seven seven which are monogram iPhone cases and covers. So you choose your device, you choose the case type, and then you put in all of the things that you want to customize. So for example, you put in the colors that you want to customize in various ways, and you put in your actual initials here, and then the person is going to design it based on you and send it to you. But as I said, Zazzle makes this whole process a lot easier. So I'm here on Zazzle and I designed uh, two designs this morning just, you know, to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. And I've opened them up as a viewer that is not logged into the website, especially not logged in as me. So this is what someone would actually see. So I did a recipe book. Mind you, I didn't do the back of it because, again, just for the tutorial for now. And it says May's Awesome Baking Recipes and it has a photo of me. Now, why would someone in their right mind, unless their name is May and they look like identical to me, would like this product. Why? I'll tell you why. Because they can click on personalize here. Change this part to Julie. That's right, more Julie and not July. And let's say they don't wanna do awesome baking recipes, they wanna do awesome cookies recipes or just awesome cookies. And then they can click on change the image and add any different image of their own that is in the same ratio. And I did a one by one ratio, so a full square, because if I take a, a photo that is not in that square, it's not gonna look that good. However, if they're not really happy with this thing and it doesn't really look that good, a buyer can also click on editing using the design tool and go here, click on crop, crop their image to be a full square, and then it looks much better and then they can click on done and order this. Now, in a lot of the designs that I did today and gonna show you today, I used several elements from Creative Fabrica and all of these elements will appear in links down below in the description so you guys can check them out. So if you are interested in anything relating to baking or cooking, anything with like patterns for baking and cooking, these are not seamless ones, just digital paper packs that I got here. This is from The Cooking Panda, and it was actually a really cool pack of patterns, so I will leave a link to that one down below. You can purchase these independently on your own, or if you have the Creative Fabrica All Access membership, you just download as many as you want. Creative Fabrica membership is $29 a month, but viewers of this channel get first month for just $1 and a 35% lifetime discount. Moving on to another product that I designed this morning, and that was Save the Date. Alexa and Molly, two proud cats trying to make it in this crazy world, July 5th, 2022. 
And I was using element from the pansexual pride kit that I think we did this on the third part of the Zazzle series when we were designing products. So I chose the LGBTQ niche and we had this pansexual pride watercolor clip art and I will leave a link to that one down below as well because it's super adorable. Now, basically what I did here was placing the two cats, placing the rainbows in the text, making several elements here customizable by the buyer. So if the buyer looks at this and goes like, hey, I want to get lesbian married. All they have to do is click on personalize and let's say the names are Julie and Anne and they want to do instead of two proud cats, two funky cats, you know what, two funky kittens and they're getting married in June 20th, 2023 and it changes everything accordingly. Now if the buyer doesn't have enough space for example, if the buyer is getting married in September, which looks like this, again, the buyer is going to click on edit the design with the design tool, and they're going to have access to all of these to move them around and to move this around like this. Maybe even go and edit the text itself like this and making it smaller. Now, obviously, not all buyers will have the skill to do this. Not all buyers would want to do something like this. But this is an amazing option for buyers to literally customize your designs for themselves. And you don't have to do anything about it. And they can just order. And obviously, as you can see here, it's less than $3 for an invite with an envelope. But no one orders one. So even if you're making 5 or 10% commission, you're still going to make a nice amount of money when people are actually going to do this for their wedding, ordering 100 or 200 save the date cards or even more. Now for the part where I show you how to do this yourselves. So let's head back to my other browser where I am connected to my Zazzle account. And I wrote down a few things that I want to design today. So I want to design a mug with personalized text and maybe some flowers. I want to design a flat card like it's a girl kind of card or celebrate with us something for a baby shower I think and then I want to do another design with image replacement and for that I want to create a Fabrica downloaded this flower set downloaded this elephant baby clip art downloaded this geometric pattern which is not that seamless by the way I don't know why they wrote seamless but I have a way to fix it with Zazzle myself and I'm gonna go straight on to Zazzle and as you can see, of course, they decided to turn their homepage into a feed. You can still see their old shopping layout if that's what you prefer. And let's head on to clicking on create and start with a blank product. So as I said, the first thing I want to do is design myself a coffee mug. May likes her morning coffee. And I really like combo mugs that have this other side to them, especially when they're really big. This one looks adorable. This one looks really good. Let's check out their colors. We have blue, we have red, we have yellow. I'm trying to think what looks nice with these flowers because these are the flowers that I have. And I'm thinking not black, maybe the green one would look kind of cool. And I'm going to click on add image because that's how you design product. And what I'm going to do here, I already uploaded all of the files that I have from Creative Fabrica from this morning, including those flowers here. And I want to choose a nice flower to go along with that green handle design. And the flower that I really feel like I'm connected to is this one. I don't know why. It just looks adorable. Now, here comes several things that are really cool with the Zazzle designer. First of all, the Ctrl C, Ctrl V, which, or Command C, Command V, that doesn't feel like it always works. So a lot of people get tricky with it. Maybe it's not working. Maybe it does. If you feel like you're doing something with it and it's not really working, I would suggest going to layers and standing on the layer and doing the Ctrl C, Ctrl V there. Then it works a lot better. Now, another cool thing that you can do with the Zazzle designer is grab all of these together and then copy paste them and then with the shift key holding one, two and three and moving all of these to the side. It just, I don't know, kind of makes everything go faster. Let me have a look at how this looks. It's actually kind of cute. I really do like it, but I am missing some customization here. So I'm going to go to text and I'm going to add text and I'm going to write down May's 
coffee mug. Let's do May's morning coffee mug. And I want to make sure that this design is going to surround the mug, but I don't want to just surround it all the way through just in case someone has a longer name than May. Uh, maybe I'm even going to start it off with a name that is not as short as May, but not as long. So maybe something like Daniel's. Daniel's morning coffee mug. And here you can choose from various fonts. I really like Love You Like a Sister. I've never seen this font before Zazzle, and I'm, I'm in love with this font. Uh, let's increase the size to maybe 40. And it covers everything through and through, and it looks kind of cool. Now, if I'll click on done, this will be the mug. So that is kind of cool for anyone whose name is Daniel, but they won't be able to customize it. So let me shrink the preview and click on the text here and scroll below where you can see make this a template object. Now, if you can't see this, sometimes it's just under here with more options. So I'm going to do this, make this a template object and the product page label, which means how am I calling this? I just want to call it text one or let's write here custom text. Let's call this custom text as well and allow editing on the products page, which is what I want people to do. I have here the same preview and I'm going to click on done. Now what we have here is this product that anyone can click here and personalize. Let's say. I'm buying this for a friend called Angela. But don't get too excited that you're done because you're not, because as we've seen in the tutorial before, you're actually going to have to click on sell it in order to fill out this entire form and push it to your store, which I will not be doing now since we've done it on the full tutorial on how to list products to your Zazzle store. One thing that I will add is I might want to add in the description some, uh, I don't know, a note to the buyer of what they can do with it. It might not be as important right now with just changing a simple text, but with the case of a photo, if they do need a one by one ratio photo, I would recommend doing that, explaining a bit more. Now back to Zazzle and to our create tool, let's continue on with our next product, which is going to be an invite. So I'm typing in here an invite and I'm looking for something cute for baby shower or anything with baby. I really do like the flat cards that have this like, the decorative side to them. I think it might be a nice idea. We also have here flat invitations to go inside a paper. We have a four to five by five and a half photo magnet. That's kind of cool. Marble stone coaster. Okay, we're drifting off from invites here. So let's just click on one of these, the flat card, which means we don't have to design like an opened full on card. This is a cool card and let's add images to it and design it. Now I did download here all of these cute little elephant um, graphics from Creative Fabrica for It's a Girl and I thought it would be nice to do something with those. So let's say you want to send out a gender reveal kind of card like we're expecting a girl or if you want to design something for a girl's birthday like an invitation for her first birthday or an invitation to any celebration after giving birth to a girl. And I know that I'm sounding a bit weird here, but I do know that in the United States, there are a lot of different occasions for this. If I'm coming from the Jewish tradition from Israel, usually a birthday for a boy, like the birth of a boy, the event would be a bris, which is on the eighth day of the baby where they um, snip, or a brita, which is for the girl, which is basically a celebration of a girl being born without any religious ceremony to it. So. I'm not really sure what to write for a Christian event or for an American. Uh, so forgive me if I don't get exactly the right words, but you know what? I'm betting you guys will be able to do this better than me. All you have to learn from this is just the customization. So I'm going to take this cute little elephant here. And as you can see, I can see it here on the preview because this is one square here, but the preview, mind you again, has a different cut to the sides. I'm going to take this one a bit down and center it all together. Then I'm going to go to text and I'm going to write down it's a girl. I'm going to put it all the way up and I can also curve it directly from Zazzle, which is kind of a cool feature. Let's not curve it all that much. 
Now, I don't know if I want this thing to be customized because, you know, it's a girl. It's pretty much the card. What I am going to do is Ctrl C, Ctrl V or Command C, Command V for the entire text. I'm going to turn the curve off to zero and write down here, my double click. Join us to celebrate the birth of our daughter on Saturday, May 23rd. I'm just, you know, putting in some date at our home in Street number city, something like this. Names of parents. Oh wow, that's a lot of text. We're gonna go up to the font size. We're gonna change it to 20 so I can see what I'm doing with my life. And we're gonna put this here. Uh, join us to celebrate the birth of our daughter. Let's move to the birth and again people can customize this themselves like this it's a bit too big right maybe i will take my elephant up maybe even make it a tiny bit smaller and i'm going to try to figure out how to make this text a bit simpler maybe like this yep and let's check this out it's actually kind of cool i'm going to minimize the preview and while i'm standing on this text i'm going to scroll all the way down and make this a template object custom message is the page label and i will click on done and this is what people will be able to do to change the entire text i could have saved this each line by myself adding more elements to it or less and again do not forget to not get too excited and saying oh this is adorable let's move on to the next one because it's not going to save you're going to have to click on sell it and finish the process Moving on to the last item I want to design with you guys for this tutorial, which will be an item that can be customized based on photo. I just want to show you how this process works. And uh, let's choose something as interesting as uh, a planner. Did you know that Zazzle has planners? I really want to make like a full video just about notebooks and planners. I also ordered some of these. So they're right here with me. And let's pick up the five and a half by eight and a half planner. We don't need the hardcover. Soft is good enough for us. And those planners are pretty awesome with basically monthly pages, weekly pages, as well as sticker pages. So let's head on to add image where we're going to do something a bit different. I'm going to start with the back of this planner since it's going to be the boring part going to layers and back. And through my files, I have here this pattern that I showed you guys that I took from Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to move it to this side. Now it's not a seamless pattern but I can tile it with the mirror effect. So it's gonna create this seamless vibe. And then I'm gonna to go to layers and I'm gonna to go to my front and I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing by going to my files, choosing this, placing it at some random spot and clicking on a mirror tiling effect. Now I have this planner, which is actually kind of nice and you can just sell it like this. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to go to elements, I'm gonna take a square and I'm going to choose that the fill color of the square is going to be black inside while the border is going to be white. And I will want to use this square twice. So let me just go to my rectangle and copy paste it. So I have it two times. The first one, I'm going to pull it a bit down here. Let's head on to my files. And the main one, the topper one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key because if I don't hold the shift key, I can move this to be any shape or form. And I want it to be an even square. So command Z or control Z to go basically undo. And then I'm going to hit the shift key and push it down a little bit and center this thing to the guidelines, the red guidelines. I'm going to take this one as well. I'm going to center it to the same guidelines. But let's just make it a lot, like very narrow to be placed at the bottom like this. 
These are basically the placeholders for a text and for an image. Now I'm going to go here back to my photos where I have a one by one ratio photo. Now, as I showed you before, people will need to upload a one by one ratio photo or they're going to need to design it themselves with the designer. And I have the photo here. I also will need text and let's call this text May's 2022 planner. And of course, people can customize it in any way, shape or form. I'm going to change the color to white and let me work on my font a little bit. Hmm, what font do I want? Fonts are such a hard, hard choice. Such a hard choice, especially when there are so many really good looking fonts here. Ooh, penicillin. That looks kind of cute. And I'm going to also want to work a little bit on my line spacing. Not so much. Yeah, as I said, the system here is very buggy. Maybe let's make all of it in cap letters. What do you think? Maze 2022 planner, like this. And drag this here. And if the square doesn't feel like it's big enough, let's drag the square and make it bigger and center this here. This is a really nice planner. The only problem is that unless someone is, again, called May and looks like me, they have nothing to do with it. So I'm going to click on May, minimize my preview, and make this a template object. Planner text. Let's change it with the URL parameter as well. And click on my photo, do not forget that, and make this a template object. And not only am I going to make this a template object, I'm also going to force customers to replace with their own photo since I don't want them to use mine. And I'm going to click on done. And what I have here now is a planner that people can personalize by changing the photo and working on the text. But don't get too excited. You're going to have to actually click on sell it to push it to your store. And so we have completed our task of learning how to personalize text and photo on Zazzle products. I just have two more things that I want to do with you guys in this video. The first thing is to ask you guys that if you like this video or found this content useful, please hit the like button down below. It really does help my channel every single time you do that. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And the second thing is, to make myself bigger so we can sum this thing up and get ready for the next Zazzle tutorial in the series, which will be maybe one of the biggest, most massive videos I've ever done on this channel. Okay, bigger now, feeling better. I do want to thank you guys for joining me for this video. And I know that a lot of people thought that this might be like the longest video in the series of how to personalize stuff. The personalized print on a man market that you will find on Zazzle is massive. And there are so many options for what you can do, whether people can customize a simple word or the entire text. There are so many options with Zazzle that I felt like I just wanted to make like that one video that just shows you how to do a specific thing, how to make a text customized, how to make a photo customized, and let your imaginations run wild. Now, if you do have a specific product that you want to learn how to design better from all these thousands of products on Zazzle, and you don't want to let your imaginations run wild, you can let me know in the comment section down below what that product is, and I'll let my imagination run wild and make a design with me video on that product. I also have a lot of products to review here that I got from Zazzle. I have wrapping paper, I have tissue paper, I have magnets, I have all kinds of postcards and cards and planners and notebooks and lions and tigers and bears, oh my, that I will be sharing with you guys in the next few videos with a product review as well as how to design and ideas to design. And I hope that you guys will enjoy. I am super excited for the next week. Um, I feel like next week is going to be super eventful with creative videos of various kinds. And I don't know, I'm just really psyched because on Monday, I'll be answering all of your creative questions for, well, International Creativity Day. There is a Google form link down below in the description where you can go in and anonymously submit any question that you might have for me about my print and demand journey, about your print and demand journey, about selling printables online on Etsy, on Payhip, or if you happen to be, I don't know, interested in something about my personal life and you, yeah, I've, I, I got a lot of personal questions. Kind of scared of that video.
And then on Tuesday, I'm not going to be with you guys because I am going to be working super hard to make more and more and more and more elements to the bundle box of June, which is going to be the biggest bundle box yet because June is my birthday month. I will be seeing you on Wednesday with my goals for the month of June and have I met my May goals and a little bit of changes that are going through with this channel. And I think that uh, some of you who know me already can determine some of these changes. And it's going to be a pretty exciting week with Thursday of next week, Zazzle Part 5, with 35 plus shop ideas for Zazzle because it's such an insanely big marketplace. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that. And I do have so many product reviews for you guys, so many design tutorials for you guys, and so many ideas to share with you guys. But uh, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching Zazzle part four, how to create customizable products on Zazzle. And as usual, see you guys in my next video. Bye.